Today I'm going to show you how to hand wind a center pull ball of yarn. As always, if you'd like to jump right to a specific point in the video, there are direct links down in the description. This is a classic ball of yarn. You have access to only one end of the ball of yarn, and when you knit from it, it tends to roll around unless you contain it in some way. A center pull ball of yarn allows you access to both ends of the yarn tail. So they come in a lot of shapes and sizes. This is a commercially made skein of yarn that is a center pull. When you take the yarn label off, you have access to the outside tail, and when you knit from it, it tends to roll the skein around. If you access the center by pulling out from there, then you can knit with the skein sitting in one place without moving around. The problem is sometimes getting at that center um, strand of yarn is a problem. You, you may get lucky and get the, the tail right away, but often you end up pulling half of the ball of yarn out with the yarn tail. Not all yarns you purchase come in center pull balls. Sometimes they come in hanks and they need to be wound into a ball ahead of time. Many people will wind their hanks using a mechanical ball winder. The center pull ball a mechanical ball winder creates um, looks something like this. It's more flat on the top and bottom and we would call this a cake. You still have access to the center tail as well as the outside tail and it will lie in place regardless of which tail you use. You can wind by hand and create a center pull cake just like the ones that you create with a mechanical ball winder. Now the mechanical ball winder um, winds the yarn around a core, so when we wind by hand we will also want a core. You have a couple of options for your core. There's an inexpensive uh, Scandinavian tool that you can um, buy or you can make called a nostepina that translates literally to nest stick. Um, my brother is a woodworker, so he made this for me a couple of months ago. Um, but you don't have to have a nose pin it in order to uh, wind a center pull ball. Before my brother made me uh, the nose pin it, I used to use one of these. And you probably have one of these around your house as well. So let's get started. This nose pin it is about 11 inches long. This is the portion where you wind the ball and it has a gradual taper toward the end. These slots in the center are for anchoring the yarn tail that will become the center pull tail. The toilet roll is significantly shorter, so if you need to wind a full hank of yarn, you might want something a little larger like a paper towel roll. But at the end, you will cut a, sl a slit and this will be how, what you anchor the yarn tail in rather than having those slots. So for the nose to pin it to get started, you would wind, I just usually wind the yarn around uh, a couple of three times around here and then I bring the yarn to the center and I wrap it uh, in parallel wraps for a couple of inches. It uh, doesn't have to be a long, a long time. And at this point, this is when you start doing the wrap. You want to wrap diagonally across these strands and then you gradually rotate the nose to pin it toward you like this. So you're creating these semi-parallel strands of yarn as you wind. For the toilet roll or the paper towel roll, you'll anchor the yarn in the slot, like that. And then you'll do the same thing where you wrap for an inch or two around the tube, turn it at an angle, and then you can just rotate it as you wind. You want to keep the yarn relaxed as you wind it. You don't want to pull tightly on the yarn uh, because as you knit from the yarn, you want it to be in its natural relaxed state. If the yarn has been wound tightly, then uh, you will, it will be tight when you knit it, and then as it gradually relaxes, your knitting uh, stitches will shrink, and so will your actual knitting. When you come to the end of the yarn, you're going to wind it right around the center a couple of times, and then tuck the end under like that to anchor it. 
pull that out, pull it off, and then you have a center pull ball. Now you can uh, wind a center pull ball of yarn without winding around a core. You can just start by going around your fingers, but there are a few advantages that winding around a core provides. One is that you're less likely to lose the tail after you've wound the ball because the tail has to be anchored either around the groove in the nostopinna or the slot in the toilet roll. The other advantage is that, is that for a, a little while after you take it off of the core, you have some space inside of the ball that you can uh, put the yarn label or information uh, about the yarn on a card or something and then stick it down in the center. If you have any questions or comments about this video or suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, you can leave those down in the comments below or you can join me over my Ravelry group, Rocks Rocks, and there's a link to that down in the description box. And if you aren't already a subscriber, I'd love it if you did subscribe. You can hover or tap on my face and then click or tap on subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos as soon as they're uploaded, you can click on the notifications bell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.